Welcome to English Through History. If you enjoy the content, please subscribe or leave us a review. It helps us to create more content and is appreciated by our small team here. We hope you enjoy today's episode. Dinosaurs have captured the imagination of humans for hundreds of years since we first became aware of a race of animals that preceded our own. And in fact, had they not suffered an extinction event, they would probably prevented our evolutionary arc. In today's episode, we will be looking at the history of the dinosaurs, from their early forms to the infamous iterations that we see in movies and TV shows. These fascinating creatures were around for a very long time and went through several evolutionary stages. Incredibly adaptable, they dominated their respective eras. We look at the different eras that these creatures lived in, how they went extinct, some of the major discoveries and the many myths that have followed them. The history of dinosaurs spans from their origin in the Triassic period around 230 million years ago to their extinction at the end of the Cretaceous period about 66 million years ago. Dinosaurs originated in the Triassic period and dominated the Mesozoic era for over 160 million years. The Mesozoic era, often referred to as the Age of Reptiles or the Age of Dinosaurs, is a geological era that lasted from about 252 to 66 million years ago. The Mesozoic is divided into three periods, the Triassic, the Jurassic and the Cretaceous. The Jurassic period, around 250 to 201 million years ago. In this, dinosaurs first appeared in this period, evolving from earlier reptiles known as archosaurs. Early dinosaurs were small bipedal carnivores. The first known dinosaurs lived around 230 million years ago. By the late Triassic, dinosaurs began to diversify giving rise to two main orders. What we call the lizard hip dinosaurs, which include theropods that had three toes or claws on each foot and hollow bones. And bird hip dinosaurs, including herbivore species like the stegosaurs and the ankylosaurs. The Jurassic period is considered the golden age of dinosaurs, and that's around 201 to 145 million years ago. The Jurassic period saw an explosion in dinosaur diversity and dominance. Large herbivores like the Brachiosaurus and the Diplodocus roamed the land, while carnivorous theropods like the Allosaurus were top predators. The supercontinent Pangaea began to break apart, creating separate landmasses and allowing for regional diversification of dinosaur species. Interestingly, the first birds evolved from small theropod dinosaurs during the late Jurassic. The Cretaceous period, around 145 to 66 million years ago, and this period featured the peak of dinosaur diversity. Iconic dinosaurs like the Tyrannosaurus rex, the Triceratops and the Velociraptor all lived during this time. The appearance and spread of flowering plants during the Cretaceous provided new food sources and influenced the evolution of herbivorous dinosaurs. The continued breakup of continents led to more isolated dinosaur populations, fostering further diversification. Around 66 million years ago, a massive extinction event likely caused by a combination of volcanic activity, climate change, and a catastrophic asteroid impact. The impact that is in present day Mexico today. This led to the extinction of most dinosaur species. This event also marked the end of the Mesozoic era. While non-avian dinosaurs went extinct, their avian descendants, which are birds, survived and continue to thrive today. Crucially for us, 
the extinction of dinosaurs allowed mammals to become the dominant land animals and led to the eventual rise of humans. Birds are technically modern dinosaurs, having evolved from small theropod dinosaurs during the late Jurassic period. Some birds exhibit features reminiscent of their dinosaur ancestors, but they have also undergone significant evolutionary changes. For example, chickens, like all birds, are descendants of these theropod dinosaurs. Studies of chicken embryos have shown that they possess vestigial traits reminiscent of their dinosaur ancestors, such as the development of limb buds that resemble dinosaur claws during certain stages of embryonic development. Many theropod dinosaurs had feathers, and this trait is retained in modern birds. Feathers originally evolved for insulation, display, and possibly flight in smaller species. Birds share a number of skeletal features with their dinosaur ancestors, including the structure of their hips, their legs, and certain skull characteristics. Birds also have a highly efficient respiratory system, including air sacs, which is believed to have originated in the theropod dinosaurs. However, why haven't we talked about the ocean-dwelling dinosaurs, you may be asking yourself? Well, there's a simple reason for that. There weren't any dinosaurs that lived in the oceans. There has been a misconception that creatures like the plesiosaur were part of the dinosaur species, but in fact they are separate. Marine reptiles, often colloquially referred to as ocean dinosaurs, were not actually dinosaurs, but lived alongside them during the Mesozoic era. These included various groups of reptiles that adapted to life in the sea. While none of these marine reptiles survived into the present day, their evolutionary history is fascinating. While not direct descendants, sea turtles share a common ancestor with ancient marine reptiles that have adopted to a similar marine lifestyle. Modern crocodiles are also relatives of the ancient archaeosaurs, the group that gave rise to dinosaurs and many marine reptiles. Some ancient crocodile relatives adapted to marine environments. Similarly, sharks are not dinosaurs. They are a separate group of animals that have a much older lineage than the dinosaurs. Sharks, incredibly, have survived multiple mass extinction events including the one that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years ago. They have evolved into a wide variety of forms and species, adapting to different marine environments over hundreds of millions of years. Dinosaurs are a fascinating species to study, and the science of paleontology has made some great discoveries over the years. There have been some key events in the timeline. For example, in 1842, Sir Richard Owen coined the term dinosauria, meaning terrible lizards, to describe this new group of large extinct reptiles, recognizing their distinct characteristics. In 1877 to 1892, the Bone Wars was a period of intense and competitive fossil hunting and scientific rivalry between Edward Drinker Cope and Othniel Charles Marsh, leading to the discovery and description of many new dinosaur species in North America. In 1980, Luis Alvarez and colleagues proposed the asteroid impact hypothesis for the Cretaceous period, the extinction event called a KPG. And this is supported by the discovery of a worldwide iridium layer and the crater in Mexico. In 1996, the discovery or in China of the first non-avian dinosaur is confirmed to have feathers. Ongoing discoveries of feather dinosaurs, particularly from the Liaoning province in China, provide compelling evidence for the dinosaur-bird connection. And finally, there have also been a few myths that have circulated around over the years, but due to developments in science, 
we can dispel some of these. For example, dinosaur fossils are not as rare as commonly thought. In fact, thousands of fossils have already been discovered and continue to be found. However, finding a complete and well-preserved skeleton is much rarer. While dinosaurs are classified as reptiles, many exhibited bird-like behavior and characteristics. This includes brooding over nests, being potentially warm-blooded, and displaying complex social behaviors. There is also a relevant rift that dinosaurs went extinct because they failed to adapt. However, dinosaurs were, in fact, highly adaptable and successful for over 160 million years. Their extinction was primarily due to sudden catastrophic events such as an asteroid impact rather than a failure to adapt to changing environments.